doomsday at my home ha occurred this morning whilst I was away. And uh, basically, my wife just told me that her parents have, are kicking us out uh, house and her their house. Um, and um, so, you know, we've got to go. We got to find a place. My wife really wants to buy, but you know, my salary is so low. Plus, she's concerned because it's a new job. Plus, you know, I've been late a few times to work only because I try to ride there just exactly on time because I don't want to get there early because he's not paying me to be early. He's paying me a shitty, you know, sealer, shitty wage. And I spend probably half the money on, um, on gas. So I could, you know, if you want to help me, I tell you what, I just started monetizing my videos and um, I have two channels, Found Up TV and also Edgewood Org, or Found Up, Found Ups, uh, Found Ups TV, all one word is one channel of mine in Edgewood Org. You know, I have over 2,000 videos, and I've always been against monetizing my videos. And I just, you know, I talked to someone. It's like, yeah, I'm making you know 500 bucks a week on 16 videos. And I was like, what? 500 bucks a week? Now he has a couple videos which has significant views, like 20, 30,000 views. So I said, you know what? Okay, I may not have, I have one video actually has 45,000. That's me changing Mikey's diaper. I'll list it below here. 45,000 views of me how to change a diaper. It's amazing me because most of my talks I think are, are more important than how to change a diaper. But that's what people want to watch. Not about why bees collapse or my, those are, those are, <laughs> woman, they're here. They're paying homage to the ancestors. This here is, uh, is Obon, so they're coming here to pray, and these are all probably relatives of ours, my brother's sons, and uh, they're here doing um, their um, recognition for their uh, ancestors. They do it every year in Japan. They visit the grave, they wash the grave, and everything else. There's so many cu uh, customs I love in Japan. So anyway, back on topic. So you know, if I had people just watching my videos. Um, I probably would make enough where, you know, I could pay rent on a rental or even, you know, maybe, uh, you know, my wife has a pretty decent salary, not decent. I mean, she makes probably about, uh, $2,500 a month. You know, I make around $1,500 a month. So land and property here in Japan is so expensive. And I wonder if, uh, you know, if folks would, I don't need donations, I don't need money, I just need people to watch my videos and like them. You know, like a video if you want to help me. Like this video, watch a video, you know. I have a lot of interesting talks. I think you'll find my talks um, enjoyable and uh, I cover a whole gamut, gamut of stuff from startups to, um, you know, metaphysics to, uh, Claps of bees, and and uh, I have a lot of videos of my sons growing up. Um, so I hope that you will help me by watching and liking a video of mine. And and if anyone sits down and watches all my videos, I wonder who'll be the first person to say, you know what? I've watched all your videos, Mike. I'd love to hear that from someone. Now that's 2,000 videos, and every day I pump up more videos. So. That's going to be quite a task, but I tell you what, if someone watched all my videos, they'd really know who I am, and, and uh, or even someone watched, you know, 100 of my videos. Maybe I'd make a fan club. You know, I've watched 100 of Trout's videos. I've watched 10, 1. You're, gonna, you're either going to like me or hate me, I think, <laughs> depending on who you are. So, it'd be interesting. So, yeah, getting kicked out of the in-laws. And I knew this, you know, I knew this was going to happen. It's been, you know, boiling to a head. And it's really sad because his son left because he didn't want to his he didn't want to bring his wife and her child into that house. My you know, my father-in-law is alcoholic and when he drinks, he's abusive. Um, and uh, it's going to be sad because see they don't know it, but when we leave, the house is going to be like 
what's the point, right? Right now, they've got two boys running around, a lot of energy, a lot of fun, and uh, joy. And as soon as we leave with our kids, they're going to be wondering, like, why did we kick them out, right? Why did we do this? Because they, they but the thing is, they just can't grasp that. You know, all they're thinking of right now is, is just now. They're not thinking of what life is going to be because they hate each other. They don't like each other. My in-laws, their husband and wife, I mean, the wife wants to, wants him to move out or, you know, wants to divorce him and stuff. So they're, you know, um, I think we bring some joy, but thing is like all families and like everything else, when your life is miserable, when you have nothing in your life, you want to attack folks that do and the simple fact they're attacking is my love and joy every day I get up at four o'clock five o'clock and I go to get a farm and, and because I love what I'm doing right and they're attacking that and the only way they can attack it is by kicking us out because they, you know Mr. I'm pretty much volunteering he's paying me a little money but they, they, they can't stand it that I'm passionate about what I'm doing and uh, you know, and they're not, they're not passionate about anything. So the only way to get at you, to kind of attack you this passive aggressive is to, you know, is to take away something they have, which is kicking us out. So we're going to look for a place. And I, again, I hope you'll watch. I hope you'll like, I hope you'll look at this guy here. Look at this beautiful, there's a kite. This is an endangered. This guy here is looking for worms. These worms are toxic bombs. And what they're gonna do is chemically castrate this this guy. Isn't he beautiful? Look at him, look at him. Just wanna sit here and watch him. He's checking out that dog, look at him. Wow, look at that guy, look at him go. You know, mark my word, 10 years from now, we won't see him around here. Huh? See, they're on the road. See, they're eating worms on the road. There, see them on the road here? There's three of them. One of them's having trouble flying for some reason. Another one's on the road here. And I, and I do videos on this. You know, this is um, um, the worms, it's been raining. So the worms have all just been coming out, right? However, for the last two months, they've been spraying pesticide on all of this food out here, right? So these worms are basically, you know, the soil is, is damp with pesticides and now the worms kind of, oh, eat the soil, which has the pesticide in it. And um, here he is, look, here, here he is, he's digging through and eating worms. These worms are basically going to chemically castrate these guys, right? So here, here. So if they don't kill you, they're gonna chemically castrate. Can you see them like flying around? So they just, they just, um, they're planting soba there. Um, and this, this soil is toxic. You can see, you see how the, um, see how the grass is all brown here? That's from um, uh, uh, what's those herbicide or in Japanese, jol jol not even jol 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 sol jol jol sol jol and all this. And if you look down here, there's there's this water down here. Well, that's all toxic, and that's what the bees go down and drink, and they end up dying. Um, so anyway, so I'm talking about being kicked out, and I'm not so <laughs> I'm not like. Um, I'm not so phased by it and I'm still very focused on what I'm doing. I'm passionate for bees. I'm passionate for trying to bring awareness to, you know, to the destruction that we're doing to our planet with, which is making a few people very rich, right? Um, pesticides solve a simple problem. How do I stop things from eating my crops? However, it generates and creates a complex problem that ultimately is going to be profoundly um, uh, impactful, or it's going to impact us profoundly. Um, and you know, and basically, we're headed there very quickly. And if we do not stop, if we not change beautiful things like this, like that kite, um, and we already see the swallows and the sparrows. The sparrows are pretty much gone in Japan. The robins are gone. The thrushes and everything else are gone. And uh, you know, we have a massive problem. And Japan, see, is an island. 
it's a great case study for any country because you know they're an island and um, islands are going to see things happen much quicker um, the positive side of Japan is actually that you know for wildlife if they if the wildlife adapts and goes back to 70% of Japan which is mountainous and areas and everything else then uh, they have a chance of recovery but um, you know it's uh, I, I, I would be sending if I had a country if I was if I had any if wanted to fight about pesticides I'd be sending researchers to Japan to test the soil to test the water to test everything and uh, you know no one's doing accounting of wildlife here I think I'm the only guy <laughs> that's doing accounting and saying listen the birds are gone this is gone um, it's funny because the Japanese blame the fact that the reason why um, uh, sparrows are no longer around is because of the new because of the new houses right which is really funny because that's you know you know they, they uh, they've lost their 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 nesting ability because of the chain they don't use the koala but see in rural Japan where I am they still have the traditional houses so that makes no sense the gutters up there that they can nest in everything else um, the simple fact is these you know these these uh, these uh, tambles as they're called fields are. so my message again if you're still watching is um, please you know help me by watching my videos and um, clicking through on the you know the, the ads um, I'm not sure how I think monetization works every time you click skip I think that's cha ching right I think if you click on the ad I'll know if you if that's more I don't know how the you know what's the I need to do some research if you know the breakdown on that let me know um, and I'm gonna do a video on the monetization it's not it's a little tricky to do um, just by selecting monetize on your YouTube isn't enough you actually go there you have to set up an AdSense account um, and um, um, you uh, um, you know, if you have multiple channels it's tricky there too uh, which I, I think I figured out because I suddenly got a boost when I added my other channel I actually added I think I'm making actually more money probably because of that one diaper video because all of a sudden I was like boom I went from making like a hundred hundred dollars a hundred dollars a dollar a day to like five dollars a day like from yesterday when I added them so I'm guessing that when I added found ups to my AdSense because I do have that diaper changing video I wish I had more viral videos but um anyway thanks I appreciate you being a fan of mine of watching my videos um, I like any comments even if you think I'm a turd dude I like that I like comments dude it means you're watching what I'm what I'm saying and um, that to me is more valuable than whether you like me or not because you know when you when you do a video and you put it up there and stuff and you know you get a comment you know the person watched it right if you don't get a comment you don't know so I like comments even if they're negative I like them um, I love likes <laughs> they, they make me happy and uh, and I wish it'd be nice if people started doing video responses send me some video response so you got a little nod there to people say thank you very much for letting me turn left Japan is such a polite, in a way, passive-aggressive country. So, anyway. My name is Michael Trout. I live in Japan. I'm, I'm the closet beekeeper. Finally getting kicked out of the house for my passion, my beekeeping, and everything else. Um, my parent-in-laws are just trying to hurt us um, as a way, you know, to feel better for themselves. It's kind of sad. <laughs>